How's it going here, future voters of Sean Gannon, future president of the United States of America? And I wanted to show you how I move my, the right lighting, projector here, um, not actually centered in front of the screen, the pros and cons of that. I have the Epson Epic Vision Mini EF12, and I actually have it right here on my bookshelf, okay? And it's not centered, so let me show you my whole setup here. So... What you can see, I'll show, I guess, the reverse angle. If I was centered to where it's projecting, it'd be right here on the ceiling, okay? But I didn't want to have it there. I wanted to have it off on the side, mainly because I didn't want to put a hole in my ceiling, and I wasn't sure if I actually, if we refocus here, uh, I wasn't sure if I wanted to put it there eventually or against this wall and how I wanted the layout. So I wanted my options open without putting too many holes in my ceiling. So it's there, as you can see, <laughs> I sometimes bike while I watch, and it projects up on the wall. Now, I have the lights on now, so you don't turn them off, but I'm going to turn the projector on and show you how you can actually, well, set this up where it looks decent when it's not centered. So I'm going to turn it on here. It takes a minute. There we go. It's turning on. And actually, while it's going, uh, I'll talk about what's going on, and then I'll turn the lights off so we can see what it looks like. So... Again, all the lights are on in my basement here. Uh, this projector isn't the best with low light, but my basement, I can get it pretty good. All right, so it's doing its autofocus here, and you can see how it's like, oh, kind of angled, and it will do some autocorrect. So it does an autofocus mode that kind of senses the wall, and then displays. But you can see how it's like not centered. It does a decent job. So what I have done... If you go to the corner adjustment and I change it, and this took me a little bit to get down, and all of a sudden it remembers your previous settings. So let me uh, move back some, I have it pretty wide there. So you can move up and down these little dots and you move them around and you select it and then you can you know move it left to right, whatever way you think to make it centered. So this took me a while to play with, with each one. And uh, let me go for press back, okay. And you can move around to all the corners and the sides. And so basically you slowly have to, well, rearrange this. And so you can get it the exact picture you want, but it saves your previous settings, which is kind of nice. So if you turn it on, just kind of do that first step and you're ready to go. Another great thing about actually um, projecting it on an angle, as you can see over there and zoom in, right? Is, which is kind of easier to see here, is since the angle at which it's coming in there back towards the screen it allows people to kind of in a way walk this way around the way i have it set up there so they can kind of walk in walk around without actually being on in the way of the light you only hit the light like right here i'm not like in the light so but if i move out this way you can see i'm not in like i'm standing right in the middle here centered and I'm not in the way of the camera right there. So now I'm centered. I'm just barely in the way of the camera. And so, uh, or the, the projector. And so it allows people to kind of get in and out pretty easily without hitting the projector. So that's a plus of doing it that way. And that's kind of why I've also liked it. Um, and it kind of works out well from a pie that, you know, someone could sit down here right below it and all these seats here. So it really maximize my space. And I would say... The distance out, um, I'm centered here. That's my arm length, about four feet, three feet, maybe three feet away. So it's three feet off center, um, and it worked out fine. I think if I try to go a little f any farther, it would it was pushing its limit of what it could do. But you may get a little bit longer. But it's about three feet, and it's past my arm length. So now let me show you uh, with the lights off what it looks like here. I set up lights off here and you can see it's pretty messy basement so to turn off all the lights it does diminish by doing that some of the pixels so as you get close you know you can see let me focus it but you can start seeing pixels as you get close that's kind of showing on my camera here but like it's still pretty decent um <clears throat> you do see you can see the sidebars of the angle the autocorrect but yeah it loses pixels to do kind of auto correct this so it's not a full 1080p anymore but to be honest it's pretty good um, man it's 
it's not as blurry there we go in real life there we go as was in the video there so it does a pretty good job of autocorrecting that so hopefully this was helpful for you and seeing most projectors can do this but i can only really speak for exactly how it looks like on the epic uh vision ef12 from epson so um as always don't forget to vote for me sean gannon future president of the united states and have a good day